Hi, I've got this system called the memory system, at least that's what I'm uh, calling it. It's something that I use, I put facts and so forth into, I mean I only developed this yesterday, I say I'm using it, but uh, developed it yesterday, this is going to make up a big part of how I progress now when I'm reading books, reading articles, I'll put my facts into this system and uh, everything will be good to go. And it basically uses a kind of a spaced repetition principle. Um, there's this kind of principle that if you have a fact, you write it down and then you see that fact uh, in a day's time and then in three days' time, in five days' time, and then go out to like two weeks, a month, um, and then have this kind of extending interval, you will learn stuff um, and it will you know, go in and sink in a lot better. And I've done some experiments with this and... Um, tried to learn various things in that way, and it seemed to work really well when I did it manually. So I developed this system that I can just put in facts, put in bits of code, put in whatever, and I will you know, then be given that sort of algorithmically. It will give me it back the right period of time uh, for me to kind of refresh my memory. So hopefully I won't forget anything that I kind of learned from here on out. Um, and if I do, there's a, a way you can deal with that. So, for example, I've created this kind of card in this uh, memory system um, that I've built that talks about the optional extra first digit on a, a Unix file mode. So you'd often have something like a 755. Well, what if you had 0755? What does that 0 represent? Um, well, what it represents? Um, and this is another part of it is that I can hide certain parts of the fact so that it makes me try and remember them uh, when I see the fact come up on the screen. And then I can hover over and make sure I got it right um, or not. Um, and then what I can do is I can say kind of increase the interval on that, keep the interval the same, reduce the interval, or this one basically means I've totally forgotten this, make sure you show me it within the next 24 hours again so that I can uh, remember this. So what I can do here is I can just continue, move on to the next card, and these are just kind of random cards that I, I need to see now. Um, they're ones that I've recently added, uh, they haven't got a long interval on them yet. Um, so I've been, you know, I don't know anything about Bash Shell programming, so I've gone through a, a quick course on, you know, uh, sort of a, it's like a bunch of web pages, tutorials, um, four-part thing. Um, I've taken notes of some of the code examples and so forth, and then what I'll do is I'll, I'll put them into here as facts, so I can go through, make sure that I remember what uh, is going on in a certain piece of code, and then say, yes, okay, I'm pretty much happy with that. Um, and then just other various things that, you know, I've wanted to learn, um, and so on and so forth, and I can mark, you know, how often I want them to be repeated and things like that. Um, or I can even come in and edit them um, and uh, do all of that kind of thing as well. Uh, I can also just very randomly just pick up random cards. So I've got this thing here, some you know basic uh, computer science stuff, some quotes, um, things like that. Again, another question here, what time complexity does O n log n uh, represent? Um, that should be uh, linear rhythmic. Um, and uh, as I can see, that's right. So if this was a card that was presented to me in the, the proper way, I'd say next. But I saw that one only about, what, half an hour ago. So um, hopefully I'm going to have hundreds and hundreds of cards in here. Any book that I read, any major facts that I need to know, put into this system. Um, it will repeat them for me um, at the right intervals that I need them. Or, and if not, I can pull them straight back to zero uh, using this. So looking forward to using this um, and just hope it will uh, increase my memory somewhat. And even if it doesn't, at the worst case scenario, I've got lots and lots of facts now in a database. Um, that I can then lean on for uh, whatever I want in future. So seems like a win-win to me. Um, I'm probably not going to be sharing this anytime soon. I mean, I may open source the code, but uh, it's not going to become like big web service or anything, I don't think, because I'm running this locally. It's just a, a single user app. There isn't even a concept of users in it. I'm just running it locally and uh, syncing it through Dropbox for my various machines. So, But I thought you might be interested in seeing it anyway. So... Um, there you go. So uh, I'm going to uh, keep on adding facts in. There you go. It's a nice uh, bit of trivia for you. And uh, I know the answer to that is 1964. So there we go. Learning already. Um, so yeah, thank you very much.